In this video, we will be preparing traditional lysogeny broth, or LB, a standard medium for bacterial culture. LB is a nutrient-rich medium that supports the growth of a wide range of organisms, including the widely used bacterium Escherichia coli. LB can be prepared as a liquid medium or solidified with the addition of auger. LB auger usually consists of the following ingredients. 10 grams of sodium chloride, or NaCl, to ensure the osmotic pressure of the solution matches that of the cells. 10 grams of bactotriptone and 5 grams of yeast extract to provide nutrients such as peptides, sugars, and vitamins. And 15 grams of auger per liter of distilled water in order to allow solidification of the medium. The amount of auger you add to the media may vary depending on your desired applications. First, Weigh out and mix together all the ingredients required to make your desired media in a bottle that can be autoclaved. Next, add the correct amount of distilled water to the bottle and mix thoroughly. Ensure there are no clumps of dry material remaining in the bottle. The media is now ready to be autoclaved. When autoclaving liquids, ensure that the cap is not tightly screwed on. Do this by completely closing the lid to the bottle, then opening the lid on the bottle a quarter turn. Ensure that autoclave tape is placed on the bottle. More information on autoclaving and sterilization can be found in another Gemmy Methods video, Sterilization and Autoclaving. After autoclaving, keep the media liquid before pouring plates. This can be done by autoclaving the media with a stir bar in the bottle and cooling the media to room temperature after autoclaving with constant stirring. Alternatively, you may keep the media in a warming oven at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius for a short amount of time. Media should not be kept at this temperature for more than 12 hours, as ingredients can be denatured and the pH of the media can change. This may prevent the media from being able to support growth of desired organisms. For similar reasons, do not re-autoclave media if it solidifies. Simply use a microwave or other heating device to liquefy the media and pour it before it solidifies. Ideally, plates should be poured in a laminar flow hood or biological safety cabinet to ensure that they will not be contaminated with microorganisms from the environment. However, if one is not available, plates can also be poured within 6 to 8 inches of a flame using proper aseptic technique. Ensure the flow hood is switched on at least 15 minutes before use to establish laminar flow and remove airborne contaminants already present in the hood. Make sure your work area is thoroughly sterilized with 70% ethanol or another disinfectant. If antibiotics or any other supplements are required in the media, add them when the auger is liquid, but the bottle is cool enough to touch, roughly 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. When adding antibiotics or other additives, it is important that the auger is still liquid, but not too hot, otherwise the components may become inactivated. Mix well after addition of supplements. Remove the lid from a sterile petri dish. Pour the auger in until it reaches halfway up the side of the petri dish. The volume per plate is roughly 25 milliliters. Continue pouring plates until all the auger has been used. Pour carefully to ensure that no bubbles appear in the auger. If bubbles do form when working on a bench top, they can be removed with a Bunsen burner or flamed inoculation loop. However, flaming plates supplemented with antibiotics risks inactivating the antibiotic. If pouring a large number of plates, pour in batches and stack plates that have already been poured. This will help prevent reaching over poured plates, thus reducing the risk of contamination. In general, avoid placing your hands over the work surface. Plates with excessive bubbles that may disrupt uniform bacterial growth are not usable and should be discarded. Let the media solidify. This usually takes 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Replace the lid inside the laminar flow hood and clean up your work area. If performing this on the bench top, cover the lids of all plates. The plates will likely take longer to dry. You may leave them out overnight to allow them to solidify. Invert and store the plates at 4 degrees Celsius. Most plates should not be kept for longer than one month at 4 degrees Celsius and should be checked before use for contamination or dryness. Storage time can vary depending on the type of plate or type of antibiotic used. 
some are more stable than others, and some are photosensitive. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the components of your growth media prior to use. Plates should be stored in an inverted position to prevent water from pooling on the auger. This water may encourage fungal growth and can cause difficulties when preparing the plate for use. Wet plates can be placed at 37 degrees to dry before use.